Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a review and demo on the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. I've been wanting to get my hands on this foundation for the longest. Finally, I was just like, it's having a bad day at work. So I was like, treat yourself. And I decided to just pick it up and through Nordstrom because I have free shipping and it comes really quick. So I was like, well, I can do a review and demo for you guys, right? Because um, one thing is, this is a very expensive foundation, $46. Not only is it $46, but most foundations come with one ounce of whatever product. This comes with a quarter of an ounce of product. I'm like, are you serious? So it better be really good. And unfortunately for my wallet, it is really good. So I'm, I know I'm gonna wanna repurchase it. I love this foundation. I agree with the hype, if you've been wanting to get it, you should get it. Cause I've heard from all different skin types, dry, normal, oily, I'm dry skin, and I love this foundation. I have some friends who are oily skin and they love this foundation. So I don't know what it is, but this foundation is amazing. It's so great. I love the fact that it is a stick. Usually I've been afraid of like stick foundations um, because I feel like maybe it'll be a little bit too drying for my face, but I've tried the Makeup Forever HD foundation. I love it. And now with this one, I love it so, so much. First impressions, I was amazed when kind of just adding on to my skin, like I just felt it kind of like melting in. And honestly, I would definitely suggest using a brush for this foundation. I feel like the brush really just kind of helps blend it and buff it into the skin as like as you're kind of it's so easy to blend it's so easy to blend as you're kind of just blending it's just like melting in and everything is just fading and airbrushing together like magically like this is magical like I've I've never said that <laughs> this is magical I don't know what type of sorcery is in this contraption but it's amazing if you want to spoil yourself if you want to treat yourself pick up this foundation like I want to know if there's anybody out there who doesn't like this foundation like I was shocked. I was amazed. And honestly, one layer of this foundation, depending how you use it, because I know everybody's going like, let me just color in my whole face. You definitely don't need all that. Um, if you want to do two to three stripes on each side, forehead down the middle, that is like a good medium to full coverage. If you're a medium to full coverage type of girl, you will love this foundation. And I would say a little ish goes a long way. <laughs> Depending on how crazy you go with coloring, you know, you just that person just loves to go ham with a marker. Um, you can definitely do that, but definitely just do one layer and the coverage is just great. Two layers, I, more than two layers, I don't think you need more than two layers. One layer, I think is really, really great. But sometimes you can go overboard and just want to just keep, because it just feels so good as you kind of like just glide it onto your face and just melts and ugh, I just want to color like my whole face with this. It's so great. But the fact that it is stick as well and if you want to get fancy if you want to get you know a little high-end with it you could buy you know to another shade to like contour around the face but that's gonna get expensive um just this foundation though I think is great I got mine in the shade ivory I actually bought this online I think I guessed pretty well because I've been to the Sephora stores trying to swatch and see what color would best suit me but I feel like Sephora lighting makes it harder it's just the lighting is not that great um, and I was like I don't know if you can ask for a sample since it is kind of like a stick foundation maybe they will cut up a little chunk for you or not but you know, sometimes people are kind of swatching. I don't know if you want to do that, but I kind of maybe had an idea where it might be, but I was still like, I don't know, I don't know. If you are going to buy this online, I would say go to the Hourglass website. And under the website, they have the different foundations. Click on this foundation, and then they have a chart for different skin tones. But also what's kind of great is they have like different kind of faces you can see per like each color that it's matched to. So you can kind of get a better idea of like, oh, is my skin tone look like that? No, maybe it looks a little bit more like that. Maybe it's a little bit cooler, a little bit warmer. Because they do have just the descriptions of each shade, like cool, neutral, or something like that. But it's like, I want to see something. So I love that they kind of have like it like skin tone matched. You can get a good idea. And honestly, I feel like Ivory works pretty well for me. I'll link down below in the description box my other shades and other foundations if you're kind of similar you know kind of at least get near there but i was like hey i read that they're pretty good um it's not too cool and it's not too warm like it was it was just where i was like i hope i don't have to return this um 
I mean, you know, get your money back exchange with sales. This is just a hassle. So I was like, oh, let's, you know, pray that we get the right shade. And I did. And I'm glad that I did because I just keep using it. And I love it so much. I feel like because it is more of that creamy formula and because it is more of a medium to full coverage foundation, it lasts me the whole day. It lasts me eight plus hours. You can definitely, definitely to work throughout the workday and if you need a couple hours after. I love the way that it sits on my face. It doesn't feel too heavy. I mean, if you do too many layers, it probably will eventually, but one to two max. Um, I would say it just gives your skin a really nice, healthy, natural glow, some luminosity, probably depending on your skin type, but it doesn't feel too over drying and I think it's just, it's just beautiful. One thing I will say, it is creamier and especially depending on your skin type, something that I have to do and I notice is a heavier um, type of a, not feel, but formula that's creamy. Um, after you kind of add it and blend it onto your skin, definitely blend it into your smile lines. And then with your powder, definitely set in your smile lines. Um, I noticed when I kind of different, didn't like emphasize setting my smile lines, I'll kind of feel like a little bit cracking, but you can always fix that the beauty blender and then go in with some powder. Definitely do that because it is creamier, and especially that happened to me because it's getting warmer out and in general, like my skin isn't totally dry, which is great. But once again, here in Chicago, Last week we had summer and then all of a sudden, um, yesterday Friday, it turned into fall with like 50 some degrees out. So I've been able to try it within the same week of a different season. So I like it in the fall, I like it in the spring, I like it in the summer, I think it's great. If you have not tried out this foundation, put it on your wish list, ask for it for your birthday, treat yourself to it, like add it as your reward, just pick it up if you can. I think it is so worth it. I'm like, I don't need another expensive habit of a foundation that I love so much. I love this one. I definitely, if I can, I will try to repurchase it, but I'm glad I tried it out. I was like, really? Is it really that great? And people are you know, just exaggerating like everything else. It's that great. It's really amazing. If you've tried this foundation and you've liked it or loved it, because I don't know how you can't love it, let me know in the description box down below. Or if you, you know, didn't like it, why didn't it work for me? What's your skin type? Maybe it's not working for all skin types. I don't know. For dry skin, I definitely give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and demo. I'll link down below some other reviews and demos that I've done. I hope you guys enjoyed these. Make sure to subscribe to keep up with some more videos and I'll see you guys next time.